Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to continue now looking at layers and we look at the, the controls you have on a layer panel. So we're going to just put a bit of blur onto this and ways to do that is to go up here to the layer and down to you, you've got adjustments here but also new life filter layers and blur and I could click the Gaussian blur there or I can go over here and you've got ones which are handy here. This one here is the adjustments. I click on that, I can see those. Across here, this double triangle thing, click on that, and I get all those things called filters with the same sort of adjustments. I can go up here to the Gaussian blur, blur and click that. Gaussian, don't worry, that's just the name of the chap who invented it, or at least the maths of it. And all it does, unsurprisingly, if I turn this up, it blurs the picture and what you get is this sort of thing around the outside here which is actually effectively going transparent because you can see the checkerboard underneath which is like the says that nothing there which means if you printed it you'd get a blurred outline in the picture to get rid of that I click on the preserve alpha which means preserve means you hold it in alpha it is a technical term just means transparency that's all it is so it means don't let it get transparent, which is what we've done there. When we've got this, then these buttons here are the same on all of them. If I click on merge, it will just get rid of this layer and sort of merge it into the, the original. So I click on that and that says merge down here. It thinks about it for a while. And there you go, the layer disappeared, but it means I can't change it anymore. So I hit Control Z to undo it. Double click it to bring up the control panel again. Delete will delete this layer here, so you, it, it's gone. And reset, click on that. It's always handy sometimes. It resets all the controls here. Um, it's left the preserve alpha on there, but the radius has gone back to zero. So we can turn this up. Notice also here, I can go beyond this 100. So if I type, type, type in there, say 200, and that's made it even more blurred. If I want to go further, I can also go, watch the cursor, look how it changes. See the cursor's changed now to a little smaller arrow and a little line underneath. So I press the mouse button down now and hold it and slide it. Then I can see the radius changing here. And I can actually go left or right Either way, it's just going to get more and more and more, more and more and more until it gets to the maximum, which is 1024. And that's pretty blurred. So I'll come down here to something where it's about right. So there we go. This one down here, opacity, the way to think of opacity is just like a kind of volume control. It's like turning it up so you get all the effect or turning it down because it starts fully turned up. So if I just click on the little down arrow there, slide the mouse down so it's over the slider and then go up and down here and you can get the effect. And this mixes effectively the blurred layer with the original layer. And around about 50% here you can see I've got quite a nice sort of glow effect. And I'll just turn that up again for a moment because I'm going to show you this one here. Blend modes, you get all sorts of stuff talked about blend modes and so on about them being complex but you don't have to know. It's like driving a car. You don't need to know what's happening under the bonnet. So all you do, if I click this, and now I, whenever I move up and down here, I'm getting different things. I can ro roll the mouse wheel to move it up and down. So if I start from normal, which is where the default is, and if I move it down, then you get different effects. Just stop at each one and go, do I like it? And you can have fun with this. And you get all sorts of really interesting things. Sometimes it's useful, like with this light in here, that's kind of a nice glow. It's even, even better there, perhaps in the opacity. So I could click on this and still turn the opacity down to whatever level I like it at. Or I can click on it again and I can go up here. Oops, where am I? There we go. Let's put that back again. I've moved outside. You've got to, it will go wherever you want it. So down these, there are more interesting ones. I can roll the mouse wheel to see more. And look at that difference. That's quite an interesting one. A bit abstract, isn't it? But I could click on that and I could change the opacity again to see what happens there. And I can play with the radius. 
here or go outside and change the effect there. So it gives you the ability to change and do quite a lot within this. But you find with most of the control panels around here, they all have all the same control, this merge and so on. Preserve Alpha if it makes sense. You always have opacity and you very, very often have a blend mode there. Again, try stuff. That's the only secret of this. Just keep trying, see what you like, and you get some very, very interesting effects. Anyway, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.